Hello, my name is Sean Dean. Um, I'm, this is week two discussion post. So first thing we're supposed to answer is what what is an assessment? So an assessment is best I can describe as an ass it helps teachers determine what to teach, how to teach, and in the end, how effectively they taught it. Um, oftentimes when we are giving content to, teach, to students, there is prerequisite knowledge that students need to understand. And assessing a student will give us a better understanding of what they know and what we would need to do in order to effectively give our content. So there are many different types of, of assessment. There is diagnostic assessment, which happens at the start to gauge pre-knowledge. Pre um, I'm, I'm a fan of this because I don't like the idea of sitting in a classroom and, and no one understanding what I'm talking about. So I would rather understand what students' pre-knowledge is through warm-ups, through um, beginning of the unit, um, maybe projects or quizzes, to understand what they know bef before we go into the, the deeper content. Um, there is formative assessment, which is used but it's used in the middle of the lesson or the or the year to determine how much a student is progressing. I, I really like this because it gives me a moment to check in with students who may have been falling behind or students who I don't know who have fallen behind or who are students who are not willing to admit that they've fallen behind. Um, giving giving mid mid chapter quizzes or giving um, mid chapter project assignments where it's more of a test of what they what they know of the information I'm giving them than an actual grade, I think would be a great way to do that. So interim assessments are given across an entire school or district in order to compare the results of a group, group of students. I think this is really good for if, in order for me to keep in line with my other colleagues. I would like to understand what I am teaching compared to what, what, my, what my colleagues are teaching and maybe they're doing it better. Um, I would be able to understand that more at an interim assessment. Um, typically, I, I don't think you would probably try to grade that as much as your other assignments because it, at that point, it'd be maybe a little bit more of an assessment of a teach with how effective a teacher is teaching at that moment. Um, it may tell us, uh, tell, tell me or another colleague, I should focus on this area if my students or my colleague students are understanding it in my art. So a benchmark assessment are used to measure the academic progress of a large group of students. Um, these, as someone who's, who's learning more about CalPads, I understand that these are usually done for grant purposes. Um, this is, I think this is very important for us to understand how, uh, how us as a, I guess a department are doing. Um, maybe there is something that as a department we're not we're not um doing well doing well with students and then finally summative assessment is a six is um is seeing where a student is at the end of a checkpoint so that would be like the end of a chapter end of a novel um end of a end of an arc in a novel that you want to go over um where probably at that point there's probably a standard that a student probably should have understood at that point. And assessing if a student fully understands that that standard that we're going for is probably where that summative assessment probably would be would be most beneficial. Um, and then finally, there was a there's a question about pre-knowledge, um, pre, you know, pre-assessment. Um, pre-assessments are given um, as far as I understood them um, before you go over the content. Um, to to be able to fully understand for a student to understand well, no for a teacher to understand everything that they need to to provide before they go over the content so in a math class I believe this would be the at the beginning of the chapter where they go over for example if you're going over a algebra two lesson of ratios, it may have a pre-assessment of fractions and students understanding the lowest common denominator and other ratio um, concepts before you go over the algebra two concepts of ratios. So um, I, I really like this because again, it allows me to know as a teacher what I need to do effectively before I go dive deep into a, into a I guess a, a, a deep thinking, critical thinking standard. It allows me to know, oh, I, I need to break down this standard into its multifaceted parts because I know a student isn't, wouldn't do well. And yeah, as far as I don't know, um, I I've pretty much like um, using this throughout my lessons, um, making it so 
mostly so that students don't know that they're being assessed. That would be the dream um, where students are being excited about the assignment and if they're struggling through it and I'd be able to help them without them knowing that this is a, a an assessment for them. That would be the dream for homework assignments and things. So um, that's my idea and tell me what you think.